This is going to be a short video and it's about why some people absolutely hate horn speakers and why others absolutely love them. And we are again at uh, Joseph Esmila's uh, website, uh, jelabs.blogspot.com and we are looking at uh, frequency SPL measurement that uh, was actually done by an iPhone, iPhone measurement of the frequency response of a loudspeaker, uh, one of these Western electric speakers. So it has, it is a bass reflex cabinet with a horn uh, compression driver, horn tweeter, and, and a lot of uh, reasonable sized horn speakers use this configuration. You have a bass reflex for the bass plus for horn for the highs. If you want horn for the bass, then it will be as big as your refrigerator or even more. And the only way you can do it in a manageable size is if you add a bass reflex cabinet to the horn. But then we run into this problem here that that it, that small cabinet that allows this amount of energy for the bass response. And, uh, and, and look, how much your horn gives you and the problem here is actually not because of the horns uh, but it's because how the two are mated together so the level of the the horn of the tweeter or compression driver is not dropped down to the level of the woofer but it's a couple db maybe like 10 db higher than what it should be and that's what some people absolutely hate that these kind of loudspeakers they they have like a too harsh sound and they they can get shouty very easy so if there is like a high energy instrument like a saxophone then then it it will it will just uh, create a second hole next to your ear uh, the energy is so much that you are getting from it and uh, or or if you think about it the other way you, you are getting amazing uh, energy from all of the high-pitched instruments, but the bass energy is just not there to support it. But when you have this type of scenario, it's not because you have a horn loudspeaker, it's because uh, the, uh, the compression driver and, and the bus reflex units are not properly aligned to each other. So basically then your goal, what you want to make, let me see if I can find it easily. No, I have to go up. And, and, and you need to strive for such a response where, where, where the base unit and the compressor driver are, are matched. And when you hear this version of uh, that uh, horn loudspeaker, then you will not think yeah th that it has those weaknesses that you associate with horns so and that's that sort of misalignment this can be also a reason why some people love it and that's because uh, if you have hearing problems in the high frequency then for you you need for your ears that extra energy to to hear it as if it was flat so if you have hearing damage then this type of sound you will hear as if you are hearing proper music but for those of friends of yours who have proper hearing it will be uh, off balance but as i told you it's not because uh, it's not caused by the nature of the horns it's caused by mismatching but it, it can be helped so thank you for tuning in please like and subscribe bye bye